Welcome back trainers and a new wave of EX raid passes have went out. I did not get one this time, but there is something very odd going on here. Uh, not only with my local community, but <laughs> with everybody. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, Niantic used confusion. It's very effective. <laughs> All right. So this guy says, took this gym down four months ago on holiday pass through. Never did a raid. He got an EX pass. All right. Um... There was one. Oh, got one from a non-park. Never seen anybody there. Oh, here we go. I think I spun this gym on a red light. Are you kidding me? He literally spun a Pokestop. And he's got a raid pass for this place. Never raided at this gym before, but got a pass. Battled the gym there three months ago, though. And same with the local um, players here. They have somebody from here, from my place... They were in Iceland. They did a raid there several months ago. They get a pass. And same with like smaller cities outside of our main city here. Several months ago, last summer, and they're getting passes. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Isn't it supposed to be recent? Otherwise, you know, you, you're traveling. You're not there anymore, right? I understand they're handing out more. And maybe at an increased rate here to newer people and all that stuff. But... It's still not right. It's There's always something, huh, with these Niantic guys. They can't seem to just get it right. Like, you know, passes for places you've been in the past, you know, two weeks, three weeks, <laughs> month, not, you know, five months. Because otherwise, what, what are you, you going to get? We're like, you know, you don't, you're not even at that place anymore. I got my first EX Raid Pass for a gym that I was at home holiday 300 miles away. No! See, this is what I'm talking about. People are getting passes from like around September, October, um, November, and stuff like that. I mean, as far back as November, I guess, I guess, you know, but, you know, October, September, <laughs> that seems a little intense. Certainly the gym spins on holiday. Okay. More people are reporting that they literally spun the gym and now they're getting passes for places, I mean, not even in their own country. Okay. <laughs> or maybe hundreds of miles away, they're not going to be able to make it. So, I mean, here you go. More and more reports. This is just crazy. Um, it's good that people are getting passes, but at the same time, some of these people have uh, can't even get there. Okay, I mean, let's just keep taking a look here. Let's, uh... <laughs> I don't believe I raided there in months. Okay. Oh, man. Never battled this gym. Hmm. I would assume you never raided there either. Proof. Okay. I'm not going to click on the pictures. We can just read these captions here. Okay. So these people, some of these people have just have never been there. Um, spun to stop. Just passing by. <laughs> That's crazy. So I have a little bit of advice. Personally. I don't know. I mean, it seems to have worked for others. But you raid at the places where you know you're going to possibly get an EX pass. Like, you know, the sponsored places in whatever parks have handed out EX passes before. And then the key is to do a few raids there and don't really raid anywhere else. Um, don't take this information to heart because I don't want to limit you on your raids. I don't want to stop you from doing what you're normally doing on a daily basis for raids. But uh, I have been raiding all over the place and... When I was getting those other ones, those other EX passes, I was basically raiding at these specific spots where EX passes have been handed out, and then I um, wasn't really raiding too many other places. So I'm wondering if you do the EX raid spots and then just not do any others, if that will increase your chances. But yeah, here you go. Lots of reports of people and uh, stories. So as they keep coming in, We'll just have to pay attention and see what's going on here. So let's go check something else out. Okay, so yesterday when I was talking about the new update and I said, oh, the news thing doesn't really work. I don't know what is going on. Well, it wasn't, but now it is fixed. And we, as you can see, it's pretty clean here. Finally, this is what they needed. Uh, this <laughs> should have been in the game, I don't know, months ago. Should have had all the information right here. So you didn't have to bounce back and forth between several different websites of Twitter uh, a Pokemon Go update page, uh, another Twitter account, you know, I mean, it's just all here and 
clean. With all the information that you need 14 days ago, 15 days ago. Um, it starts on February 24th, so it wasn't this event wasn't 15 days ago. That's when the letter went out. And then this as well. So Kyogre does disappear in a couple days, so get ready for that. Uh, so yeah, pretty neat. I'm liking how they did this. Uh, now also I want to talk about something else. How to conserve on your potions. Now I know there's a slight drought. The only hardcore way to get potions is to basically raid. All right, And when you raid, they give you potions as rewards. We were wondering what what's with the potions for rewards and raids you know when they first introduced it little did we know they were going to cut off the supply of potions from pokestops and gym spins uh and to only for when you so you can get them through raids so here we are now everybody's in a in a potion drought i mean depending on where you live if you have like a thousand pokestops within a mile here or wherever you live and you can just spin 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 and there's like two or three gyms within one spot of you standing there and then pokestops as well i mean that seems like you're pretty good but for people who don't have many gyms or pokestops clustered up like that like you know myself um potions start becoming rare so any suggestions yes now i'm gonna tell you something but i already know a lot of people or you know know this already but you don't run into a classroom that you took you know a class for like several months ago and you don't run into that class and tell everybody you guys are idiots you don't know this already right exactly so this is what i'm doing i'm teaching people so basically what you can do is you take your raid pokemon you don't throw them away if they're not good ivs you keep them or pokemon that you've caught with high ivs or you know decent anything like around a thousand or so something that's going to be able to do damage to pokemon that are in gyms um, or Pokemon that you evolve for, for XP. Uh, so when you do that, you put them, you make a party, and then you, you go ahead and set them up like that Dragonite, Violet Plume, Sandslash, Victory Bell, Nine Tails, and Marowak here. Um, I'm going to toss that Dragonite, Violet Plume, Sandslash, because anything that doesn't have a great IV, and uh, it's just going to get tossed because I just don't have the space. Plus, it helps you take out gems, get battles won. Um, experience points as well and saves you potions because you're just going to be tossing these Pokemon. Now I have a whole bunch of them. Let me go up to recent. Um, I just went out did a little grinding session. So wow, two potential shiny Pokemon. Wouldn't that be something? Uh, how many of you have Go Plus to shiny? I want to know. Um, so just went out grinding so I need to clean up stuff here and my inventory is at 838 because I did do a mass clean yesterday and check out this check it out that's right i was doing a little research seeing um if gardevoir is going to be worth it uh it, I, I want let me tell you this gardevoir is the best fairy attacker in the game but there is another pokemon called glade gen 4 which routes evolves to if you have a male you have to be a routes and it's going to go up like that so i was thinking should i evolve this one to glade or save it to uh guard for gardevoir or uh Vice versa there. Should I evolve this to Gardevoir or should I save the candies for Glade? I'm going to save the candies for Glade because that thing, its attack is massive. So I have a feeling that might be the new top fighting attack Pokemon, but we'll just have to see. But uh, I'm going to start waiting, saving my candies now so, I, so I'll have plenty. Anyway, as you can see, um, I'll transfer right here right now in front of you that Dragonite. I know a few people out there are probably going to be pulling out their hair like, why are you transferring that Dragonite? Well, because um, I have plenty, um, and it's just the way it goes, okay? I found it in the wild here, and let me show, show you here. I mean, if I kept collecting more Dragonites, I know a lot of people have so many more than this. Um, but there you go. Um, technically, don't need more than that. All right, so I have my 100, which is... I think it might be this one right here, actually. Simply amazing, attack. No, that's not it. Wow, I can't believe I actually don't know which one is the 100 here. Cloud, meta, what is this? Oh, well, it's one of these. You think it'd be marked. Anyways, so the, the main idea is to use the Pokemon that you know you're going to toss or you don't really want. 
And after that, you're going to be able to have a ton of potions stacked up because you're not healing the Pokemon that you are keeping. Oh, there's the 100 right there. Puff. All right. Um, that was a little confusing. I'm going to put a dot there just to uh, indicate. All right. So anyway, there you have it. Um, snowing here. Very nice. So if you want to save potions, try to use the Pokemon that you're going to toss. Don't toss them. First use them to attack a gym and then toss them. Anyways, with that said, thanks for watching everybody and I will be catching you later. Congratulations to everybody who received an EX pass and um, good luck at your raids.